this video we are playing Find the Looney Tunes and I haven't watched Looney Tunes since I was a kid. Um, I saw it come up, I played Tom and Jerry and I just had to come in and play this one. So I have ordered the video via location, so we're in the kind of city and neighbourhood area to begin with. The eagle eyed viewer will see that as the video goes on, um, the numbers will jump up and down. That is because they did an update when I was halfway through editing the video. So what I've tried to do is kind of sandwich the new characters with the kind of old video. Um, if you do get stuck with any of the characters, please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. But there is an order list available in my video description with some timestamps of the locations. And if I can ask if you are enjoying this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can help support my channel and hit that like and subscribe button. So we're making our way kind of around the neighbourhood, around all the houses. So this is working down from Bugs Bunny um, towards the kind of beach area and then we will come back up the other end of the, uh, the other side of the street. So here is one of the new characters. This was originally just an empty easel, so it's nice that they started to update the game and fill up some of the houses that were empty. It'd be nice to see a bit more furniture and kind of finishing touches to some of the houses. They are pretty much all identical with not much going on upstairs furniture wise. I'm not sure where any of these characters are going to go to the bathroom because there's no toilets in this place <laughs> and they certainly can't prep any food unless it's something in the fire <laughs> I haven't watched Looney Tunes in years I am gonna have to find some Looney Tunes on like Netflix or hopefully Disney or somewhere like that or YouTube um, I did really enjoy it as a kid Although much like Tom and Jerry, I've played this game and I've seen some of the characters and I just can't remember them at all. Like, <laughs> that has been pushed out of my memory. Um, I can't remember them at all. I don't remember Foxy. The only ones I really do remember are kind of the key ones like Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, um, Elmer Fudd, you know, all the, the kind of main characters. But my ultimate favourite one has to be Sylvester. I loved Sylvester. And we have our first code number there. Um, you don't need to bother writing them down. I will show you the code when we get to uh, by the bank in the city, so don't worry. And this game, apart from the code door and a couple of obbies, um, this is a really nice simple game. Um, all the characters are pretty much out in the open. So this one would be a good one for the younger players, people starting out in scavenger hunts. Or if you are a Looney Tunes fan and just have a bit of time to spare, this is a nice little easy game to play. Certainly brought back some nostalgic memories for me um, of all the Looney Tunes episodes I've watched as a child. So we're making our way around the city. So we've been in the donut shop and we're making our way into the supermarket now. And this next one probably is the sneakiest of them all. <laughs> I happened to find it by accident because I had the view correctly, but it is just behind the shutters.
And we found our second code number. So this area was updated, so we now have the inclusion of shapely duck, shapely lady duck, sorry, um, on top of the supermarket. You will have to forgive the editing, it's quite hard to sandwich uh, new footage in with old footage. <laughs> but I didn't want to, uh, to miss out and for the new locations not to be in the video. Um, Pepe Le Pew, he was another one I liked. Join the group with graffiti. <laughs> I've just literally seen what that had read then. Into the current city square now. Here is the location of the code door. Don't worry, I'm not going past it. I haven't forgotten. I will show you the code and the character inside. And there is a free sprint not a particularly quick sprint but it's still free sprint uh, and double jump which does make this a bit more easier to get onto some of these rooftops always nice to have that stuff for free and you do have the free teleports as well to the various locations in the map So here is the code for the code door, it is 6257. Making our way around the snow area now, as you can see that is where you could find the third number for the code door. So here is the new area on the map from the last update. This is Candyland. I think the only improvement I could kind of really suggest is that I'm really missing that kind of immersive um, sort of game where it does feel like the cartoon. So um, the Coyote and Roadrunner would have been in like the desert type area 
Bugs Bunny and Elmer would have been in kind of more of like the field or farm. Um, I just would like to see one of these like themed games that it feels quite immersive. Like with the maps, with the backgrounds, I'd love to feel like I was actually in Looney Tunes. That'd be awesome. I think they've also missed a trick for the Space Jam area because that's all about basketball. So why not do a massive stadium with the basketball court and the players and then other ones sat in the seats, um, other ones in the dressing room and just made it like themed around basketball. I think for me with a lot of these games it's sort of like a generic map and then they just dot like the character locations all around. Making our way through space now. Zero gravity could have been something to make this feel a bit more immersive like you are actually in space. <laughs> Sneaky one hidden in the rock there. Would have liked to have seen a few more teleports like that. Um, that was quite a nice one. Although not very nice that it was a bear trap. I don't remember half of these characters. Like, I used to watch this stuff. <laughs> Saving the memory of your childhood people, you'll forget half of it. <laughs> to the beach area now. And we had the most random underwater hotel and a lifeguard actually submersed underwater. <laughs> that is the most random thing ever. <laughs> Scratch that, the most random thing ever. It's a no smoking sign in an underwater hotel. Unless you've got a smoking helmet bubble thing like SpongeBob SquarePants, I don't think you're really going to get that baby ignited. <laughs> so this room was marked up as key only, but the door was open. Um, not sure if that was a glitch.
And the reason why I think that hotel doors are glitched is because you can pick a key up from the ship. So is it supposed to be that you take the key back to the key door um, to open it up? I didn't see any other locked doors so I'm assuming that's a glitch and that's what you should be doing with it. On to the farm area now. And what I missed was the cheeky button there where the wire went to. Into the desert now. And the coyote who never manages to catch the roadrunner. Despite all his plots and schemes, um, he never manages to catch him. <laughs> I've got to watch these again. Who needs Peppa Pig when you can have Looney Tunes? Luckily, only a very, very, very mini maze there. Even I managed to do that one. <laughs> Devil. I'm not going to do an impression of Taz because I'll probably end up spitting all over my microphone and computer. <laughs> this map repeatedly so invariably I do know to check the bank vault although some games actually have it where the door opens so you have to click on the door and then the door opens and you walk in and get the character again that may have just been a bit of kind of polishing for this game I do like the fact in this game that the veiled walls are kind of, it look just like the object. Uh, sometimes you can have it where it's quite obvious that you need to go in there.
So we are now going into the Space Jam area and you do have to have 30 characters in order to come here. This is such a popular film when I was growing up. I just want to say a huge thank you to supporters who have come and found me or happened to see that I'm on Roblox and said hey, um, it's so lovely to speak to fans, um, I'm bowled over every time it happens that I'm recognised on Roblox when I'm playing. If you do want to say hey just make sure you put Judgment TV, um, I won't always associate if you're trying to talk to me or not. <laughs> Those were a tad easy, but I thought I'd double check just in case I got trolled. <laughs> you need to make the other one a bit more opaque. So the only two I am missing is the one for the group and the one that you need a VIP game pass. But thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, take care and see you real soon, bye!